Hello there and welcome back to Dishonored 2. Thanks for joining me again. When I ended the last episode, I purposely ended it facing in this direction so that in this episode I would remember to go up there. Uh, I just want to go up there and see if there's anything cool up there. So uh, let's do that. Travel up here, wait for my mana to refill. And then um, we'll go right here. And then we'll just go up here and see if there's anything cool. There is a vial of Adermeyer solution right here. I'm still maxed out on that. Uh, there's a light pouch here, 10 coins in it. Coin of two, coin of two. I think that was worth it. I think that was worth it. Come up here and help ourselves to some things. And just do a quick look around here to see if there's any other goodies. And other than the Adermeyer solution, it doesn't look like there is. So we'll go back down. We're going to go down that hallway down there. And it's so weird. When I'm in this part of the game, I feel like it's nighttime. When I'm down here. But it's still daytime. <laughs> it's just it's daytime. But down there, it feels like nighttime. It's so weird. I don't know if it's because his little fire is there. Or if it's just the way the lighting is. But um, it just feels like nighttime. Let's see if I can get down from here without killing myself. Yeah. Nice. Oh, duck on it. That's not what I wanted. I thought I switched back. Go here, and then we'll just plop down. Okay. Let's go down this hallway, see what the heck is down here. Check this out. Um, there is a bone charm there, and I think that's the only thing left. I think it is, man. That is the only thing left here. Oh. Well, this hallway's a dead end. That's disappointing. Can't go any further that way. So how the heck am I going to get to this bone charm? Where is this thing? I'm not seeing anything through this wall. The bone charm is 35 meters away. But... I don't know how I'm going to get to it. Now, this area over here kind of sucks because there's a lot of dudes walking around over here. We got a guard right there. Got some guards walking around up there. Wondering if I can get up there from here. I don't know. Let's see. I heard a voice. Who was that? Mm, I can get up there. Cool. Okay. All right, this is a good start. Not sure what that noise is I'm hearing. Whoa. Oh, okay, I was on that little cage thing there. Um, Could be an open window up there, I'm not sure, but there's no balcony for me to stand on. There is some weird sounds coming from in here. I love it when he talks to his stomach. Well, I'm not seeing anything with my darkest of visions. Huh. So this... This little balcony here doesn't really help me much. I don't feel like. I can't get above it because of this impenetrable... Um, iron work there. And then, I mean, the nice thing about being up here is that I'm up here, you know. But, I still need to get past these guys. I wish that that wasn't electrified. But, it is. I tell you what I'd really like to do is get behind that guy, take that guy out. He'd be one less guy to worry about. Uh, I could try to go here, but my fear is that somebody will see me up there. It could happen. People walking around down there, I don't quite know where they are. Yeah, there's a dude right there. So, I'm not sure which way he faces. He's kind of facing this way. 
And there's a, a dude right there as well. Kind of facing this direction, so he might see me. I don't know if he's going to turn around or not. And then I hear them say things like, I'm sure it's nothing, which makes me think that they do see me. Something unsavory going or hear me. And it sounds like I heard somebody talking in this direction as well. This guy's coming back. Hmm. I'm really worried that they'll see me up there. And even if I do get up there, where do I go after that? I don't think I can get from here to there. He'll see me. So... Wondering... That guy might... Oh, there's a guy right there. He... Oh. He might be the one that I really need to worry about. He may even walk in this direction, but... Okay, let's, let's try this. Let's give this a try here. Let's see if we can't... Really like to take out this elite guard. Checkpoint enforced. Let's see if we can't sneak up behind this jerk. Now, this guy might be a problem. Yeah, he might be. Alright. Oh, that guy might be a problem, Never too. Earned those medals. I'm twice the soldier he is. Okay. Say something. How far can I go? All the way over to here. What Someone the? There. Ooh, he heard me. Uh, I told him he was too skinny. Told him he wouldn't huh, I'm not sure why he heard me. I, maybe I was moving when I fa fast traveled, when I uh, far reached over here and I didn't realize it. What the? Oh gosh, damn it! Why is he there? Gosh! Heck on it! Golly. Come on. Oh, this is a mistake going down here. What the? Oh, oh, duh, duh. I thought I was up top. <sighs> Damn it. I thought I had far reached up to that little top area. Man, that is so freaking frustrating. Golly. <sighs> There's just still so many things that I don't quite understand about what the hell's going on. I used my uh, far reach to... Well, luckily it didn't use up my mana like I thought it was gonna. I, um... I don't understand why they heard me fast travel over there. That guy... Okay, I'm gonna wait till that guy walks away. Okay, he walks away. So now, all I did last time was fast travel right here. I don't understand why he heard me. Watch the Ugh, for crying out loud. Hey, where do you think you're going? All right, come on, kill me. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I. All right. I um. God, I'm just so surprised at how easily they see me. He's, I guess he's kind of facing this way. I need to get further behind him, I guess. Okay, that, that time it worked, but I think that guy saw me... Saw me fast travel over here. It's just for a split second, I th thought I saw the... Um, the little alarm thing show up. Okay, well, I've made it here, but I, every time I start playing this game, I'm like, okay, this game I'm going to do it right. This, this episode I'm going to do it right. I'm going to be sneaky and they're not going to see me. And then stuff like that happens when I feel like I'm doing it right. I, that second time, okay, I was a little far over here and I can see how he could have seen me, but that first time I don't know why he heard me. Might be time to spring for fish cake. Anyway, I just keep hoping that I'll get the hang of it and it'll start to make sense because it just seems random to me. Clockwork Soldier Basics. Um, 
This is one we've already read. Telling us about the Clockwork Soldier. It's good information. So I took this guy out. Which is satisfying. But... I hope they accept my transfer. Where do I go from here? Got that guy walking around. I got that guy there. Uh, these guys are just insane. Okay, now I'm over here. Okay, he's facing that way. He's going to turn around and come back this way. Okay, he's coming back. Oh, that guy. He ca he actually came over to investigate. He sure did. Oh, crap. This guy might see me through this little crack here. I'm just... I guess I'm just not as... So, if I have inconspicuous two, as I'd like to be. Still got to be one, but, uh, then if I, eat I mean, that guy's a problem. Heat. That guy's a problem. Guys in the filth? It's getting hard to breathe. Really so to death. Voice. So it's like I'm talking to a stone wall. Blood fly nests all around them. So, maybe I just leave these guys alone. Maybe I don't need to take these guys out. You know? I don't know where this guy is now. What, what, what? Okay, he's coming over here. Okay, that's as far as he goes. Luckily, that guy doesn't see me. It's just shocking. Okay, he's heading back. Okay. All right, so I got that guy down there. Oh, he's coming this way. Let's get around the corner here. So I'm gonna see if I can get in this back door here. So I don't, I don't want to mess with those guards if I don't have to. Remember, there was a door back here. Okay. Security panel here. Door, peek through the keyhole. I hear somebody. Anybody in here? I hear somebody talking. I don't see anybody. Oh, it's blocked. Uh, so, there's no getting in here. Um, that's electrified. That's also electrified. Is there a way that I could de-electrify this? It's a balcony up there that I haven't been on, but it doesn't look like those windows are open. So, it doesn't look like there's any apartment for me to investigate here. So these are electrified, both of them are. And it doesn't look like there's any way to get in here anyway. So I could go back up to the top. Remember there was a open skylight up there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, maybe not. I thought that this was like a security panel that I could use to de-electrify that. But it's not anything I can interact with. And it doesn't look like there's any benefit to de-electrifying that anyway. You can see through here that there is a lock on that door. A latch on it. So, I guess I could try to get in from the top. Let me see if I could climb up here. Oh man, she, she jumps pretty high, but I can't jump that high. That whistling sounds like it's coming from in there somewhere. Um, how did I get up there before? Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Thank on it. 
I have it saved since I got over there. Because I didn't think I was going to die. I'm back over here. All right. Where's this guy at? Let me look for this guy. Here he comes. He's walking over here. Let's let him walk over here and then turn around and walk back. And we'll go back to where I was. I guess. Golly. No. Ah, I gotta get my buttons right. I'm pressing wrong buttons. Oh. Somebody. Somebody heard something. So, I've used up some of my mana here because I had the wrong ability selected accidentally. What is wrong with this city? She doesn't feel safe. All right. So I've been up here before. I guess what I climbed up here, and um. Somebody seen something. Now we're all on edge. Go up here. Can't take much more of this. Okay. All right. Let's try this. I'm crouched. I know there's some guys walking around there. There's one right there. Damn it, I need to pee. That guy needs to pee. Sleep dart. Um, domino. Okay. So there were two guys. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. I'm gonna switch to sleep dart. And I think I'm gonna have to hit him twice. I think. No. And they're both asleep. Okay. That worked. The cost was one sleep dart. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good price there. Not too bad. The problem is that I'm not 100% sure that there's uh, nobody else down here. Sure, he knows how to talk with the boss. I hear somebody talking still. But that guy could be outside. The way the audio is in this game. I think he must be one of the guys walking around outside. I better get down there and do something with these bodies, huh? Okay, I'm in Aventa Station. Got me a body here. We're going to loot this guy. He's got 20 coins on him. I'll loot this guy. He's got 10 coins on him. Where can I put these guys? I mean, there's not currently anybody walking around up here, but I don't mean anything. Boy, that's dangerous, that high voltage right there. Who need? Look at this cool, cool carriage. That's the carriage we're going to get in that's going to take us to the Clockwork Mansion, I guess. Well... Bone charm is in here, so let's go ahead and get it. There's blood on the wall over there. Or maybe it's wine. I'm not sure. Bone charm. This one's called hot cocktail. Bone charm, bone charm, hot cocktail. Hot cocktail. Exploding bottles inflict damage over a wider area. Well, take less damage from falling. These are cursed, so they have a drawback. Uh, no. I mean, this might be worth having to make their pistols misfire sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to do that. That might get somebody killed. I don't want to do that. This is a grenade thing. I don't want to do more damage. So, so many of these things are, you know, assassination related. So this might be a good one to get. What I can't remember is, did I pick up more slots? Wow, I have 10 bone charm slots? Okay. Let's go ahead and get Acrobat. Sure, we'll climb faster. Why not? 
But I mean, as far as these other bone charms, I don't really like any of them. So, I'll just stick with that. And I guess I'll just leave those guys sleeping here. I don't know. I really don't like to leave them here, but... Okay, pick him up. Um, I really don't know what to do with him. I really don't. I mean, there could be somebody walking around down there. What is that on the ground? Eh. I don't know. I'm going to stick him over here in the corner. It's probably not going to make any difference, but if somebody walks by there, maybe they won't see him. I don't know. It's awful bright over here. So, yeah, what happens over here? Blood stains, wine stains from that empty bottle? I don't know. Wanted. Mindy Blanchard. We met her earlier. Let's go down here. See what's up. I saw that guy walking. Let's see how far over he goes. Oh, he walked right there, alright. I wonder if I could shoot a dart through the wall of light. I'm not going to, but I was just wondering if I could. Damn, I thought I heard blood flies for a second. He thought he heard blood flies for a second. So this is what powers the wall of light, and if I wanted to, I could disable it, but I don't think I want to. What is going on here? This door is locked. Ooh, a safe. Some cool stuff in here. Can I unlock it? I can. And I did. And at some point, we picked up the key for this room. That's a neat safe. Cool. Silver ingots. And a bunch of coins. Coolness. Cash register. Let's open it. See if there's anything inside of it. And there is. Oh no, I didn't want to close it. I wanted to pick up some coins. Come on. Give me the coins. Alright, got me some coins. What else? Another cash register. Ooh. Pyrosonic casing. Pick that up. Figs. I don't need figs. Is he coming in here? Is he? No. Huh. It's interesting. Uh, when he walked by it, the wall of light turned green. I guess it it's because he can walk through it. Note to employees. Let's read it. One of the booth keys has been stolen again. This time, I'm not having it remade, so you'll have to share the remaining key. Pippo, when your shift is over, just wait for Narciso to arrive, then hand the key over to him. Narciso, you wait for Daniel, and so on. Nobody leave the key in some stupid hidey hole or whatever. If the last key is lost or stolen, we won't be able to open the booth, and you'll all be out of work. If you're worried, pull your coin and have another key made. Or go buy the old one back from the black market, as I'm pretty sure that's where it is now. Event to station management. Oh, that's very secure. That's pretty funny. So we could have picked up that note from the outside, and it would have told us about the key being in the black market. Oh, did I not? I guess I did pick these coins up. Because I got distracted by the... The uh, blueprint there. Hmm. Hmm. There he is again. There, he, he's not seeing me. So, what do I do now? Um, I mean, I could just go get in the carriage and take off. I could do that. Or... I could look for another um, vial of whale oil and take it over 
to the black market and blow a hole in that wall. I could do that. And go in and steal a bunch of stuff, I guess. Oh. Good lord. These guys have eyes on every side of their head. Is he going to come in here? It's interesting. There he is. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think I could see through that wall of light, but I can. Um... It's interesting looking up there. Uh, no, I was going to say, you know, I could go back and blow a hole in that wall, get into the black market, but do I really want to do that? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Um, but I mean, I could go back over there and use that new upgrade I've got, but it's a pain in the butt to get over there from here. So, this guy would probably be pretty easy to take care of. You know, when he walks there, I could probably throw something and have him come in here and take him out. That would leave two more guys out there. But I don't know if it's worth the trouble. Okay, so there was a bottle up here. Look at this weird thing. What is that? Some kind of bizarre chandelier? Grab a bottle. Let's just let's just take guys out. Just because it's fun. Isn't it day yet? Problem is, is that be soon. he could see me through that window. Huh. Did you hear someone over there? I just need to make sure. Okay, we're gonna get rid of him. Got his coin. We're gonna throw him in this room so other people don't see him. You sit there, buddy. <laughs> Just like slap his head against the wall. Okay, so now I've got these two dudes over here to deal with. I've got. Where are they? Who's there? What? Huh? Okay. So I got a guy. Over there. Oh crap, he's gonna walk right here. Oh crap. I need to crouch. Huh. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's walking over there. Turn around, dude. Oh. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. So he walked down there. I don't remember that guy. I guess, okay, yeah, maybe I do remember him. I'm going to go ahead and... It's interesting. Oh, the rewire tool, I would have used it outside. Oh, look at the rats. Going through the wall. <laughs> okay. So the light, or the wall of light is turned off now. So. I almost want that guy to come back in here now. Hey, dude, look at me. Okay. Oh, no, he saw. I didn't want him to see me. I just wanted him to investigate. <laughs> Um, will he see me up here? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd you go, dude? I wonder who that was. Where is he? Did he? Oh, he's still downstairs, it looks like. Thought I saw him for a second. Yep, he's right there. There he is. I really like this ability. Where'd he go? He's outside now. Buddy, I tell you, these guys... Oh, here he comes.
Uh, he saw me, alright. Which way is he going? Where'd he go? Like a little bit of music playing here. What? Huh? Can't stay hidden forever. Um, well, maybe not forever, but I saw you. for a pretty long no time. Hiding. Oh. Whoa, he is. Did he see me? I'll find you, you know. Show oh, yourself and state your name. Where is he? I hear him. Sounds like he's right there. Okay. Okay, there he is. Come on down here, dude. Come on! I don't have time for games. I got all day. Come on. Come out wherever you are. Is it is there two guys or is that the same guy? It sounded like two different voices, didn't it? Oh now he's back upstairs. Come on, dude, come down here. Oh oh. He's gonna walk right here. He's gonna walk over there. I'm not in the mood. Show yourself. Interesting. Is he still gonna walk over there? Yeah, he is. Where is she? Damn it! Come on, I won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there is another guy. Damn it! Oh, darn it! <laughs> I'm taking him with me. <laughs> I'm back here. <laughs> I'm taking him with me. Oh, did I drop the body? I did. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Where is he? Did he stop? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, he's up there. Where are you hiding, coward? I want to pick up this body. Just, I don't know. So he doesn't see it and then remember me. You sit in here. Where did he go? Oh, here he comes. Let's see if he's gonna tell me where he's gonna walk to. Oh, he's coming down the steps. He's coming. Where is he going? You don't stand a chance anyway. Where is he going? I'm kinda trapped here. Oh. He's facing this direction. Here he comes. He's coming. Oh, son of a bitch, he's coming in here. You gotta be kidding me. There, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm hardly a ghost, but... Get the job done eventually. Okay, now. Is that everybody? Am I free to walk about out here? I think that's all of them. That guy's gone. Uh, Duke Abel returns triumphant. I don't know whether I've read this one or not. Our cherished Duke Luca Abel has returned safe to Karnaka after his successful enterprise to unseat the illegitimate Empress Emily Caldwin. Empress Delilah Caldwin, the rightful heir to the throne, has been installed as sovereign over all nations and has already implemented numerous improvements throughout the Empire of the Isles. Upon his return, the Duke announced he plans to host a gala in honor of Empress Delilah at the Grand Palace. Merchants in Karnaka are hereby ordered to add a celebration tax to all sales so that citizens can enjoy the privilege of contributing to this upcoming event. Lucky citizens! The resulting monies from the new tax will be collected by the Grand Serconan Guard until such a time as adequate funds have been amassed. Oh, how nice. The people get to contribute. Well, um, here is the uh, security panel that I could have used the rewire tool on, but I needed to do that, obviously. And I've cleared out all the guards, which I just like to do because it's fun and guards are jerks. And uh, this is a place that I didn't see before. This is kind of a neat place. I could have used this place to sneak up behind some guards, but ultimately I didn't need to. Um, I think that we've explored everything there is to explore here. Of course, I've said that many times, and I've been wrong many times before. 
But this time, I mean it. We got all the runes. We got all of the bone charms. We even got the map over there. So. Uh, like I said, the only other thing we could do is go over here, blow up the wall, and um, get into the... Um, the uh, black market. And I'm going to go ahead and carry this over here. I'm not saying that I'm going to do it. But I at least want to walk back over here so that I can upgrade, uh, use this blueprint that I just picked up uh, to upgrade whatever it is I'm going to upgrade. And then maybe we'll see if I decide to do this or not. It seems like a pretty jerky thing to do. Um, right? I mean, this uh, this black market person is just somebody who's trying to make a living in the world today. So I've got some whale oil there. I, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to activate it. Those two howlers are still in there. There's some... I mean, I could get in there and get those gold bars could do that, you know. You know, just like the people who are, you know, have the privilege of uh, contributing to the gala. Uh, the black market person uh, could have the um, privilege of contributing to um, the restore Emily Caldwin to uh, Empress fund. <laughs> right? That should be honored. But first, let's do some upgrading. Hi. I'm glad to see you well. See, she's very nice. <coughs> one upgrade available. The blueprint you found unlocks one new upgrade. Howling Bolt blinds enemies. That could be useful. Howling Bolt. Upgrades. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Hardened Bolt. Stinging Bolt. Incendiary Bolt. Howling Bolt. Sure, let's install that upgrade. Why not? So this enables black market shops to sell bolts that stun and blind enemies for a time. I wonder if I could pick those up someplace too, or if I only can. Uh, I used to own a cafe down at the docks, but the smell of fish them. blood was stronger than the smell of morning coffee. I had to sell it. Hmm. Uh, I could get extended bolt range. Crossbow bolts travel faster, farther. Reload speed, faster reload. Crossbow accuracy. I haven't really noticed I, I've wanted any of those things. Can't say that. Uh, incendiary bolts. I don't have this chosen. I guess this maybe answers my question. I've seen incendiary bolts in the wild. This would just allow the black market to sell them. <laughs> eh, whatever. So. Um, Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here so if I blew that wall open I could help myself to those things so maybe just a decade ago There's some coins over there uh, she's got a pouch and a key on her um, and then of course I could help myself to Come in, my friend. all these things hey Always a delight to see did I read that note there before black market oh okay all right that's not a note to read why well, tell you? Back. I'm sorry. I need protection. The Grand Guard doesn't do its job. I know it's stupid because she's just a video game character and she doesn't even have a name, so it's not like I'm going to see her again in the game. You know what I mean? They robbed one of our shops. I'd like to see them try it here. <laughs> um. So I'm kind of like, why not do it? Because it's not really going to matter story-wise. I don't think. I gotta say, I also wonder what the purpose of this hallway is here. Maybe I could have come here and used this to spy on Paolo's encounter with her. Maybe that's what this is for. Basically, I was just wondering if there's like a secret passageway here or something. So, um, I'm gonna go over here. And I, I just want to know how to do this. So I'm going to do an F5 here. 
Um, does it have to be an incendiary bolt? Can it just be any bolt? It could be any bolt. Okay, well now I know. She is cowering what in the now? corner. I can't go to the Grand Guard. Oh. She's scared. She can't even go to the Grand Guard for I'll help. Just eat the losses. No sense in dying for this. Oh my gosh. I am a horrible, horrible person. I can't do it. I can't do it, you guys. I just can't. I know it's this is stupid. What I money for. This is it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. What now? I can't go to the Grand Guard. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's so st uh, uh. Okay, so, um, I'm hitting F9 to reload, because I saved right before I blew up the the whale oil. I really just wanted to see how to blow up the whale oil. It was, it was a education. I wanted to see how to do it, so now I know how to blow them up. I don't have to use an incendiary bolt, I could just use a regular bolt. So, that is something that could come in handy uh, for later in the game, but... Like I said, it, it, it really probably wouldn't make any difference story-wise if I went ahead and blew up that wall and stole from her. But damn it, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. I felt too bad. <laughs> I don't need the coin that bad. So... <sighs> yeah. Can't do it. I'm not going to. So we are going to go up here and hop on the carriage because I believe that's all that's left for us to do. Ride the carriage to the upper Aventa district. Then that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a health. Because I could just pick up another one right here. The silver spike on Howlers. I don't know if I've read this. Your dear editor is stepping aside this week to give you both sides of an argument raging across the city. Guest editor, the Howler Blight. The letter published last week by the Gazette was an outrage. How could Madame Anto suggest that the Dust District and even Karnaka itself would be better off if we legitimized Palo and his Howlers in any way? Instead, decent folk should hope to wake one morning and read that Palo is finally dead or in jail. And why should we be wary of the Abbey? Only a witch need worry about the wrath of the overseers. The Howlers are nothing but a bunch of cutthroats who never worked a day in their life. Everything they have, they stole. If you want their so-called protection, it comes at a price. On the contrary, the overseers have dedicated their lives to spreading the good values of the seven strictures. Believe me, the dust in Batista is not in our streets, but in our hearts and only the Abbey will make us clean again. Sebastian Armitage. So somewhere around here is another silver spike that's pro Howler, and I'm, I've missed that paper. I don't know where that one is, doggone it, but oh well. Oh well, maybe we'll find it someplace else. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe it's on this carriage. Maybe it's like reading material for my trip to the upper district, but I doubt it. So let's go ahead and ride in the carriage. Let's go to the Upper Aventa District. I'm sure we can come right back. Oh, that was neat. Oh, this is so cool. This is neat. It's like a roller coaster. Oh, it is like a roller coaster. <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, it's like a funicular here. So cool. So very cool. There's so many places to look. I don't know which direction to look. It's so cool. Wow, this is neat. You can see Jindosh's mansion from here. Can you? Can you? Where is it? I don't know what it looks like. Where Kingdom's is it? Line's blocked. I'll have to unlock the gate. Whoa. <laughs> New mission clue. Carriage gate code. The security gate at the carriage stop leading to the clockwork mansion could be opened with a numeric code. And then... There's that black market weak wall clue. Upper Aventa District. Looks like I could ride the carriage back if I wanted to. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Last time it asked me before I got in. 
Okay, so we could go back down if we wanted to. So we've got a guard there, we've got a guard there. And I saw an elite guard just a moment ago. There's an elite guard there, so this place is a little bit guard heavy. So, another health elixir. Here is the code to unlock the gate. We don't know the code. We're going to need to find it. It's probably not on a piece of paper right here. Duke Abel Essential in Dunwall Coup. Karnaka's own Duke Luca Abel reportedly played a key role in the recent coup that unseated the unpopular Emily Caldwin. Our new Empress Delilah Caldwin made quick work of dissenters and has already issued several proclamations which are sure to be welcomed in Dunwall after the failed reign of Emily Caldwin, known for shirking her duties in favor of more pleasurable pursuits and now blamed for orchestrating multiple assassinations against her critics. The coup is sure to increase our fortunes here in Karnaka, as Delilah Caldwin has strong ties with Duke Abel. Serkonos is now expected to rise in wealth and power within the Empire. There are ongoing reports of lingering unrest in Dunwall, as those who remain loyal to Empress Emily's corrupt reign are dealt with. Tibby and Pear. Gate codes. I was going to say, if the gate code is right here. <laughs> I know that discipline has gone to shit over the past few years, and especially this year, but this is a reminder that gate codes should not be written down and left lying around. We're just, we're just anyone who wanders through the office can see them. These codes are for Grand Guard personnel only for good reason. Once you've read and memorized the codes, destroy them. Maybe your rank and assignment don't mean squad to you, but if anything happens to Jindosh, we'll all face a firing squad at the Grand Palace. Major Alan Benosh. Okay. Find the carriage gate code. So now we've got main mission here is still to reach the clockwork mansion. Find your way to a Venta station and take a carriage to the clockwork mansion. Then we need to enter it. Optionally, we can find the gate code. Hmm, so that means there's another way to get in there. Okay. Um, let's get out the heart. Okay, over there we've got a rune, bone charm, bone charm. And, um, uh, is that it? Not in that direction? Not in that direction, it doesn't look like. One rune, two bone charms. Okay. Karnaka, Karnaka, Karnaka. This city is a place of riches. Yeah? But not all get a seat at the banquet table. Hmm. How Karnaka has fallen since the old days. With your help, perhaps it will not descend into complete ruin. Look how tall and skinny this dude is. Their family stung to death. So disfigured. Blood flying nests all around. Horrible. Oh, it's a she. Oh no, it is what? I don't know. And doused him with oil. Then what is a she? So she's a terrible scumbag too. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Pratchett jelly deals. I don't need any of those. I can go and lock onto that bone charm since it's so close. I'd like to find a tap or some Mattermeyer solution. I know I could go ahead and use the Mattermeyer solution I've got on me right now. But I don't need to right this moment, I don't think. Jindosh Mansion is in that direction. Here's a door. Let's look through the keyhole. I like to look through keyholes. Somebody's typing something. Somebody's actually using a typewriter. Probably behind that desk right there, huh? Somebody. Two people in there, unfortunately. One 
behind the desk. And then another dude there. He's busy typing. Now, I don't know where the other guy went. I don't know if he went in that room. If he walked behind that guy. Hello? Do, 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 do. Just gonna walk over here. I wonder if he's gonna come outside. Of course, this dude could see me too. He just about did. I'm kind of trapped here. Hopefully, that guy won't come out here. There's a dude in there. There's some goodies there. Okay, that dude's gonna walk there. Hopefully, he won't come any further than that. Boy, that dude was right there. Okay, he turned around. And he's gonna walk back over there and maybe go back to his desk. Let's look through the door again. So he sat back down. That guy's walking around in there. Is there anybody walking around upstairs? Uh, there's somebody sitting up there. Not sure what that guy's doing. Is he taking a nap? Is he like sleeping at a desk maybe? And we got that guy, we got that guy. Okay. Give me a handful of the clockwork, and I'll clean up the dust district. I don't know. Maybe the tall boys were better for the time of the rat plague. They made people stand up straight. Time change. If the Duke has his way, we'll have an army of the clockwork soldiers by this time next year. Now, when these guys get done talking, I get nervous because they could come out this door. They're going to go that way. Um, is there another? Okay, he's going to do some stuff. Okay, good. There's. I was kind of worried that there was another door over there and they were to come out. So there are a lot of guards in this building. <laughs> Well, we'll explore this building and the rest of this area in the next episode. I'm just going to hang out here in this hallway in this episode here. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you're having fun following me along. If you are, why don't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching, everybody. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.